Hey guys, Captain Rob at Sweetwater Lifestyles Boat Club here. Uh, today we're going to do a little bit of an anchoring video here on our 317 using our windlass anchoring system here. Uh, as you all may know, some of our boats do uh, come equipped with a windlass anchor. Um, in regards to that, we have been having a few issues with the windlass and how people are uh, properly using them. So I just wanted to go over today of what we would like to see you do while you're out there enjoying your day on the water uh, to safely anchor your vessel as well as bring the anchor up and make sure all the equipment is in working order. Um, so we're going to get ready to anchor right here in the Imperial River and show you a little bit. All right, guys, here we are. We got our bow pointed into the wind and the current right now. We got a hard outgoing tide. So that's always first case. You want to point that bow into the wind as we start to deploy our anchor here. So first off, we see that we're getting down to our line here. Uh, we want to always make sure we let that chain out and get to our line. And we want to have as much scope as possible. So we want to see that anchor line getting out in front of us. Sometimes you may need a couple bumps in reverse until we feel that boat grab. It's always best practice to give yourself a little extra room of where your destination is going to be while you're anchoring. So we're starting to feel the boat grab bottom here. I can see my line tightening up out in front of the bow. So I know I'm holding pretty good. Again, if you want to give a bump in reverse or so, just to make sure that we are uh, in fact holding place. All right, guys, so once we know our anchor's holding, next step we got to do is, is let out a decent amount of line to take the slack here off the windlass. We need to remove the line from the windlass. There cannot be tension on this windlass. These teeth are cutting our lines and they're in, in return making the anchor uh, anchor line actually break in half. So we're gonna release some more line. We are gonna remove the line from the windlass. And the next step I want you to do is tie a full 360 around the bottom of this cleat here. So that puts all our tension down there and not actually on your knot. And then we're gonna do an over under and then we're just gonna give a half hitch here and that knot is gonna lock that in. Now we have our anchor holding, we have zero tension on our windlass and zero uh, chafing that's gonna happen on our line here, okay? Uh, now let's fast forward, we're getting ready to leave, all right? First thing we always want you to do is start your vessel. Um, if we have two people on board, this is always easiest when you have a second set of hands, but we do wanna be able to help ourselves and make this a little easier. So if you can give some bumps in forward to take some slack off of the line, but if we did our job, we tied that line with no tension on it, we're not gonna start losing line here. We're gonna simply feed this back into our windlass here. And we can start retrieving this anchor. Now, during this step, it is again, super important that we're taking that slack off of the line. So I need some help of whether you're going back and forth from the helm, but we need to get some momentum going forward. And you can see there's no tension being put on the windlass or chafing away at our line here. If you start to hear this struggling or seeing this mechanism pulling up, that means we're giving too much tension and we're gonna to need to get some more slack off that line. So here we're starting to get some tension. And some is normal. Again, these anchors might be, you know, if we've been here four or five hours, I see my chain coming. Another common issue that does come up is when we have that splice that goes from line to chain, we will occasionally get stuck here in the windlass mechanism. Sometimes it's best to let it down a little bit, come back up. If it's still not going through, this is starting to work through now. If it's still not going through, you may need to reach underneath and put a little tension on the line. I wanna make sure everybody understands that you do not wanna get your fingers anywhere near this mechanism right here as you will uh, have an injury occurred to it. We have had a few. So we're gonna continue bringing our chain up. When we know we're getting close, you wanna take a peek over, make sure that anchor's facing in the right direction. We do quite frequently see uh, on a couple of our boats, Miss Haley 2, the 272, as well as Miss Madison, the Regal, the 290. Uh, the anchors do come back quite a bit upside down uh, here in the mechanism. So that's simply just take a peek over the bow, make sure as it's coming up that it's facing the right direction. They do have an auto swivel on it. Sometimes it doesn't always go in the right direction. So you may need to just lower it a little bit, bring it back down. That's gonna help prevent damage to the boat as well as uh, damage docking when you're coming in. Um, so please uh, understand that with the 
windlass anchoring on the boats that you, uh, you're taking out. If you have questions on this, ask one of our captains here at the dock. We would absolutely love to go over this with you dockside. We can take you out in the river and practice dropping anchor. But um, I can't stress how important this is as we have been having a few issues, losing anchors, lines, uh, lines breaking in half, and then safety issues as well. Um, for uh, for these boats and um, again please any questions feel free to ask any of our captains here